Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is part two of the introduction to the Kickstarter dashboard and tools. Uh, in my previous video, I looked at like before starting a Kickstarter, and now I'm going to show actually if, when you have a Kickstarter. It's not a live Kickstarter. I'm going to probably use Herbaceous Pocket Edition and maybe Skulk Hollow as examples of different things. Um, but all the tools are the same as if you were live. It's just that the campaigns are funded. I don't have an active one right now. Uh, I'll briefly show you the Mall Peak Kickstarter preview page. It's the same thing I showed in the last video, but like with with some approvals. Um, it'll be really quick. I'll just show it to you. Uh, I think it's important to note you will see I will be blocking out areas of the screen. Um, all of these screens have backer information. Now, this isn't going to be any Elon's critical details, but it's their names. I don't know. I'm going to just put a piece of white over it or something. Just, you know, whatever. Um, I think that's about it. Again, I hope these uh, are, are helpful for you to get an idea of what's to come when you're actively working in it. Might not hit every tool and every option, but I'm going to try to give a pretty good overview. Okay, so I'm going to flip it around and let's check it out. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm starting with the Mall Peak um, Kickstarter page. This is not live yet. This is our next Kickstarter. And so when I was going through and setting up those pieces previously, you know, I was able to show basics, rewards, story, people, but I've also completely taken care of payment. Um, and then I've also submitted my project for review. This was submitted for review. Therefore, there is an I'm ready to launch. Um, I'm not going to launch right now. We also have a promotion page. So if I go into any of these again, I mean, we can go to the preview quickly. Um, it should have let me get back out of here. Yeah. Uh, this is the preview like I was showing you on that last video, but this is for like an actual campaign. It's not done. Details are being worked on. Reward tiers are going to be added. I'm going to mess around with everything, but it just gives you an idea of, you know, getting information into that page. Um, I'm going to exit the preview here. Worth looking at quickly. It's going to take a second to load. Is that promotional preview page, that pre-launch page. Um, we can view the page here maybe open a new tab and this is what it looks like we've got 10 uh 49 um, people who are in and and that's about that i can go back to edit and basics um and, and get back to this stuff which you, you've all seen before in my last review so this is that other view so i'm going to go back now uh, and move to other campaigns here all right so this is Herbaceous Pocket Edition. This was an actual run campaign. Now, normally when you have a campaign, there'll be this graphic up here, but you really look like this bar, bar with campaign, FF, FAQ, updates, comments, that's sort of like here. Um, but they add this cover page when you uh, are done. You can change the background. You could do a, a full art here. You can change the color. You can adjust the text here, here, here. So you can, you know, sort of customize this. This can be a buy now, this can be a follow along. So there's some. this was a really nice addition when they added it a few years ago. Generally speaking though, when you launch a campaign, you don't have that and you just have this other stuff. So everyone should know what campaign is. I actually don't think for Herbaceous Pocket Edition we had any um, FAQs. Uh, maybe we did in Skulk, I'll look there. Um, actually, let me just go there now quick. If I have this, did we have an FAQ? We did. So here, is this Kickstarter EU friendly? Yes. <laughs> You know, can it sleep cards? Yes. Are you using a pledge manager? No. Uh, that's what we were doing on that cam campaign. But we'll come back to this in, in a second. Uh, but if we go back to where I was, updates. Here are all the updates that I've submitted. Uh, it gives you information. You can read more about them. This is useful uh, for your, as a Kickstarter creator, I'd be able to go through these. It should have the funding date somewhere in here. Oh, funded successful. And I can keep going back to when it was launched. Um, but this is available during the campaign. The comment page, people should be familiar with the comment page. This certainly needs more. I'm going to cover up on the left here, but you can see that, you know, people make comments. And the community page, this is sort of cool. It doesn't really do that much, but it tells you how many people are supporting and then sort of where your big uh, regions are. They've added a fulfillment tab, which I'll show you, which is like more robust than this is, but I don't know. You can look at it, the different countries uh, that were into it. So, Again, on a campaign, even if you've launched it, you might not have this cover information, but you will have this tab on the left. And this is like the main way you're gonna drive through everything. So if I hit post update, which I'm not gonna, but it lets me do an update. This is much like a Kickstarter page, the campaign page, all the sort of headaches in here. You can uh, select, um, 
who's getting notified by inspecting the two tiers. You can make it public or backer only. Generally, most should be public. There's a lot of reach val value to that, but you know, occasionally you want to do backer only. Um, and then you can give it a title. There's a Q uh, uh, change you mean? Uh, okay, I didn't make any changes. So this is going to give you like a how to, this is like a them helping you talk about your Kickstarter. You don't have to do this, but you know, it's good. Free form is what most people are going to do. Now, if I were to start one here, then that's post update. Then in updates, again, this just is like another menu for the same thing. It will be, I don't know, q and I'm putting out, it sort of auto saved something that I was doing when I was in there. These are these new ones, but you can get out. And if I go to publish, I assume this is just all of my, yep. Oh, cool. It's got the one it was published and likes and stuff like that. So just useful information here. I can dive into any of them. I don't actually typically use this. I typically just go through the uh, updates page, but you know, not bad. Um, I like to, you know, once we get into the month over month updates, I like to update them. That's like a reinforces the idea that these are monthly. And not to you know <laughs> bug if it's if you if it's not monthly, but so you know that's updates. Here's your dashboard. This is very important. So title launched when it's done. Pledge funded backers. When you're live, this is like tracking with your time. Funding summary. This doesn't appear until after that campaign. I mean it's here, but it's like it doesn't it doesn't have a link. And then what this will do is it shows you where um, where your money uh, ended. I don't think, it, but so this talks about deductions and fees, and you can make an invoice. This is all good information to have. If I go back now, if I, I don't know, I'll get back there. Uh, we'll go back to the dashboard. So um, that's your funding summary. Then uh, you have your funding progress. Again, this will update as we went. This is where we ended. You know, there's a whole bunch of different types of um, versions of this you might see. Um, a breakdown of the different pledges via Kickstarter, external or customer referrals. External is anyone not Kickstarter. Customer referrals is a, a, a referral tag you've made. Um, so then you have this, this table. It populates as, as you, you get pledges, and this will tell you where your pledges are coming from. Um, many of these are, in fact, Kickstarter email. Most of these are Kickstarter. It says it here. But um, some of them are recommendation. You can see what these pages look like. Um, no reference means somebody didn't come from a direct link. I'm not going to go into how I don't want to get into this deeply in this meeting. But the only other thing I would note is when you have this campaign going, you can make, there's another tab here that allows you to make custom tags like I did here, PFG newsletter, a letter, it says custom. This means I put a link directly into the newsletter and 34 people from that newsletter back the game. So this is the project followers. These are followers of people who have opted in to being reminded and then how they converted. These numbers are going to be different for all sorts of people. Again, this was not a huge campaign. I mean, it's not a small campaign. Very happy with it. But this was, you know, modest and I expected it to be. This was a small little um, 15 or $20 pledge. <coughs> um, probably 20 considering that. Um, no, maybe not. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, uh, this is going to be widely different for lots of people. Then there's your video. That's the video on the front of the page. This 91% is an amazing number. You you basically, it's almost impossible to do better than this number. That was because this video was like, you like herbaceous? Here's a pocket edition. I think it was 10 seconds. Uh, typically, this is going to be a much lower number, um, and it tells you if it's played on Kickstarter or offsite. Here's a breakdown of your rewards. No rewards, 40 to backers. The main one, which was 15, was the game. Then uh, two copies, three copies, that kind of thing. Uh, if you're into Google Analytics, you can add that. You can enable then add that. And so in this page, which again I'm going to cover up most of the information, this shows you every single thing that happens on your campaign: comments, pledges, adjustments, which could be up or down, all that stuff. It's it's a very useful thing uh, to look at. Um, it'll also drive you nuts if you're looking at adjustments and getting upset. And then this just scrolls forever. So that's what you're going to get here. I think during your live campaign, there might be a couple more things in here. 
Then you have your backer report, incredibly useful information. So this is going to have a list of all your backers, and you can separate them by what they backed, whether they're dropped, you know, was it delayed shipped? You can click on a person, see their information. Um, again, I'm going to be covering this, but you'll get a little field here with their details. You can issue a refund from here. Um, you can start your, you can export a backer report, which is all the information. You can do it by tier, none, all rewards. You can do it like every detail, or you can do it sp specifically for certain uh, export styles. Um, very useful. You can create a survey. We did not create one for Abacious Pocket Edition because it was it was the only campaign I did a pledge manager for. So um, that might be something I'll show you on the other case. Uh, and then you can send a message to everybody. Also neat, just so you don't know, if you want to go to like a subset here, you can message a, uh, a the subset. This is super useful. I always forget this is here, and I start a headache. But like you could be like, I want. I want all the dropped backers. Oh, I'm just going to message them, right? And again, I have to cover a lot of stuff here. So backer report, you will be in here all the time. Messages. This is like the same as on Kickstarter. I have to cover most of it, but you know, it's the same menu generally. Oh, but this is unique. It's like, it's like your messages, but only your messages for this campaign if you have multiple campaigns. Reward surveys. So this is if you're making a survey directly for this campaign. It's by tier. It's a little annoying because you can't do it for all groups. Um, and, uh, you know, so you have to do it like for every every set, every reward tier, which is pretty annoying. That's something they need to update. But you jump in here, reminders, you write the survey, you can add fields and questions, text or multiple choice, put whatever you want. Uh, and then it'll preview it. And so if I, uh, are you, you know, like, tell me how awesome you are, you know, and it says, tell me how awesome you are, multiple choice. So for most uh, first time creators, I would say use this, but I feel like more first time creators are using backer kits now. Um, but anyway, you go through this process. Again, the reason it's empty is I didn't do this for this campaign. I'll show you on Skull Column. Collaborators. I don't think I had anyone set up as collaborators here. You could add them. This is the same as in the previous video on how to use it. I spoke about it. Um, I will show you one with collaborators on Skull Hollow. And then fulfillment. This is neat. Um, I can't, uh, okay, I'll show you this on the Skull Hollow one where it'll have the surveys. Using Kickstarter to track shipment rewards, I don't know, I feel like is basically impossible. <laughs> Um, but this is really useful new information because you can get a better breakdown of the countries, the rewards, what they were, how many, the total count. There, this is absolutely a page I would love to see Kickstarter invest some time in, right? Like, hey, what if I want to see how many copies of the Pocket Edition go to the United Kingdom? I can't, right? Like, right there is a really good example of, like, that would be something. Like, I want this to be a more operational dashboard where I can get key information. Like I can't use this to work and check my numbers exactly other than maybe totals. Um, and then here's some good information. So this is really it. But this is, there's a lot of power here. You're, you obviously, you have, the main, you have the main page and you can always hit that to go back. Um, interacting with people, you'll have your FAQ and your comments. Community is sort of like interesting at best. Your updates is just a list of the updates you're gonna run. And then in this menu, again, you will be doing regular updates. This dashboard you won't be in as often, but you'll be looking at it to see what's going on, to look at your referrals. The backer report, especially when you're post-campaign, you'll be there constantly. Messages you'll be in. Reward surveys, you'll need to use it if you're doing a reward survey within Kickstarter. Collaborators is a setup thing, which actually, like, it's one of the few setup things that's still here. You'll notice you can't change your rewards on a live campaign. That's still true. And then fulfillment is a, a dashboard that's interesting but could be a whole lot better. Uh, I did want to show a couple other things here. Skull Hollow, I showed the FAQ being there. This was a large campaign for us. Um, let's go back here. Let's look at the dashboard here, right? There we go. Great funding campaign. You know, if you'll notice, this is not terribly different than Herbaceous. This is a pretty common trend. You can see the different information. You know, here, PFG Newsletter drove 73 copies, stuff like that. Uh, last chance reminder drove 100 copies, uh, not copies, backers. 
that sort of thing, project followers. That range, I think, was 25% on the other, or 20 but This is, you know, sort of standard here. Here's a much more normal number at 55%. Our reward tree tiers, and then this is all the same. Uh, here I have a tracking ID. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you was, so here in fulfillment, in this case, it's going to show that our surveys were completed. Um, let's see, reward surveys, I had done some, so you know, it'll tell you who, how many have responded and whether or not changes are, allow are allowed or not allowed. That's your like final warning. And if I hit survey here, I think it's gonna show the survey how we sent it. Oh, and collaborators. In this case, I think Sebastian and, and Dustin, the graphic designer artists were collaborators. Uh, Sebastian was helping with the page. Dustin was just interacting with the people. And that's it. So again, um, this is meant to be give you an idea of these tools. I didn't go deep into them, especially like referral links and stuff, but hopefully this is helpful. I really, you, you know, it can be a lot, especially when you're getting into it for the first time. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of power at your fingertips. So thanks again. Hopefully this was helpful. Bye. Hey, everybody. Edo here. And thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks. Bye.